Hi, friends. Time for the children's sermon. Today's Bible verse comes from John fifteen five. It reads, "I am the vine; you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing." Do you know where all your yummy fruits come from? Do you just snap your fingers and they just pop up, or do you go with mom or dad to the grocery store? Can you believe that these delicious, yummy fruits and vegetables come from different parts of the world and even different farms? Another word for fruit farm is called an orchard. You know, my favorite fruit is grapes. Hey, mine too. Actually, that's funny you say that because grapes can be grown on another kind of farm. Yeah. Yeah, they're known as vineyards. A vineyard is where specifically only grape vines grow. There, each vine makes bushels of delicious grapes, and those grapes are what we find at the stores and soon on our plates. A vineyard has rows and rows of vines that the grapes grow on. Oh boy! And here I thought grapes just came from the bags they're in at the store. I didn't realize they come from vines. Crazy, huh? Let me show you how it grows. See, here's the vine. And then the branch grows from the vine, and from the branch grows all of this fruit. Isn't that cool? It is. But one question: I've seen people cut branches before. Why do they do that? Well, that's called pruning. Vines get pruned because there are weeds that grow, and they stop the fruit from growing well. It also helps the quality of the fruit as it grows. But when the branch is cut off from the vine, it can no longer grow fruit. That's why it's important for the branch to stay connected to the vine. Wow! So without the vines, there are no grapes. But what connects the grapes to the vine are its branches. So the branch has to stay connected to the vine. That sounds like our verse for today. It is. John fifteen five says, "I am the vine." You are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Imagine if the branch decided to not be connected to the vine. What would happen to the grapes? What would happen to the branch? It would die. If the branch wasn't connected to the vine, the grapes wouldn't be able to grow. In order for the grapes to be healthy and thriving, it needs to be connected to the branch. But the branch needs to be connected to the vine, because the vine is the source of all things that the grapes need. God is telling us that we are just like the branch. We are able to make fruit in so many things. That means we are able to produce so many wonderful things. But we have to stay connected to Him in obedience to His way. And with His way, sometimes if there are things in our life that aren't pleasing to the Lord God, He will need to remove them to allow our fruit to grow like He intended it to. Just like the farmers prune the grapevines and cut weeds and stray branches, we rely on Him because He is our root and our source, just like the vine is for the branch. That's right. He's our vine. The vine gives the grape so much life. It allows it to stay so good, be so colorful, help others in giving them the fruits they need to be healthy and strong, and can be used in so many more ways. Just like the verses, we cannot do anything without being connected to God. So let's remember that He is our vine, and we are to be His fruitful branches. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for just being the vine, Lord. Thank you for being our source and our everything, Lord. We need you in all that we do, and in order to bear fruit, Lord, we need you. Thank you so much for the love and the passion that you show us. Thank you for the strength that you give us, and thank you for just the source of energy, power, and strength, Heavenly Father. May you be our vine in all ways, Lord. If we have ever tried to do anything without you, Lord, please forgive us. Thank you for your love, and thank you for the source of everything that you give us, Lord. We need you, and we love you. 
And it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen.